Muhammad, Khatim al-Anbiya wa Mursaleen wa ala alihi wa sahbihi al-Ma'in. We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this opportunity to be together in a great month of Ramadan. We have iftar together. And this iftar is done by the Islamic Society of Australia. And it's again Allah's blessing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides this opportunity for us to share this beautiful environment in the month of Ramadan, praying together, having our happiness together, having our all sharing our sorrow together as well. Brothers, uh, one of the reasons we gather here is to congratulate each other about the blessed month of Ramadan. The second important thing is about the masjid, to remind ourselves about the importance of masjid for every Muslim. <coughs> in Islam, the most important foundation or structure built from where Islam actually emanated and spread out outside was the masjid. Prophet ﷺ, he migrated from Mecca to Medina. The first thing he thought that important for Islam, for the Muslims, was about masjid. So the first thing he took step initiated to start with was the masjid. He built the masjid and it, uh, this masjid is a part of every Muslim's life. And when you look at, uh, at the five pillars of Islam, every pillar of Islam connects us to the masjid. Every pillar of Islam connects us to the masjid. When you say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh, when you say the testimony, bearing witness to, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only God, he has no partner, and when you bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his last messenger, that requires from us what obedience to Allah and His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And to prove that we are true obedient slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and true ummah of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we have to make ourselves available in the masjid. So that requires that first testimony in Islam connects us to the masjid, to the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Second pillar of Islam, without, it, without the masjid we cannot perform that. Salah, the five pillars of Islam. <coughs> and zakah as well. Zakah is something we Muslims have to pay to the poor and needy. The only place where you can find about the poor and needy, recognize the poor and needy, is when you get together. When you share your life together. That's again happens in the masjid. Because we see each other in the masjid. We ask about each other's condition. We try to help each other. So that's the, zakah is also very important for, for, for part of Islam or pillar of Islam connects us to the masjid. Fourth pillar which is, we are enjoying now, alhamdulillah, with the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fasting in the month of Ramadan, again connects us to the masjid. Because in this month, we all come together, pray taraweeh and other prayers. And hajj, again the fifth pillar of Islam, also connects us to the masjid, the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Without visiting the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the first house built ever on the face of the earth, we cannot perform our Hajj. That means without masjid, a Muslim's Islam is not complete. So it's a very important thing to understand for every Muslim. Therefore, it becomes our responsibility to take care of the masjid, to revive it, to make it available for every Muslim community. And being in Australia, it becomes again bigger responsibility for us to build masjid so that we can get together stay as one community. Because of this, this masjid, we find many of us chose to stay and buy houses or rent houses around this, this area. Without this masjid, we wouldn't have been together like this. We wouldn't have the chance to see each other like this. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought our hearts together, although we came from different backgrounds, different colors, different race. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with Islam, and then practically with masjid, brought us together. So the project we are talking about, this masjid, which we are trying to build, is also from, comes from the same origin, same thing, same source. We, we want more Muslims to settle around, and we want to create opportunity for all Muslims to learn their Islam, to be able to teach their, educate their children from, uh, from the masjid. So it is a great importance for all of us. Other than that, it is also a test of our Iman. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, إِنَّمَا يَعْمُرُ مَسَاجِدَ اللَّهِ مَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ 
Truly those who believe in Allah and the hereafter are the ones who build the masjids of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if you participate in building masjid in any way, financially you support them, spiritually you support them, and any means you have, if you support them, that is a sign of your iman. Definitely, a Muslim who says, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah will never turn away from this great cause. And thirdly, talking about this project in this great month, and also great essence in it, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiplies the good deeds we perform in this month of Ramadan. So it's a, an opportunity for us to be part of this project, to help build this message so that insha'Allah, insha'Allah with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala next year when we pray salat to tarawih insha'Allah, we pray in a proper masjid, which is accepted, even permitted by the government that it's going to be masjid insha'Allah. Also, for the last uh, 50 or years since this masjid has been used, we could not perform i'tikaf in this place. Many of us know that. Why? Because this place we are sitting now, praying in, is not considered as a masjid by the council. The government did not allow us to, to, uh, to register it as a masjid. So when you can't register as a masjid, then there comes many other conditions, restrictions. One of them is, one of the conditions we were facing for the last many years was that we were not allowed to stay here from midnight until 5 o'clock in the morning. So that means you cannot perform one of the important sunnah of the Prophet which is i'tikaf, which in many masjids, people come together and make i'tikaf. And Prophet used to make i'tikaf every year in the masjid. In his last year of his life, he, he, he made i'tikaf in the masjid whole month of Ramadan. And after him, his family, his wife also used to make i'tikaf and sahabas or all other Muslims. It's been the sunnah of the Prophet which was followed by the Muslims who came after them, after the Prophet But unfortunately, we could not achieve this sunnah here because of that problem. Alhamdulillah, now we got that, uh, that permission that it's going to be masjid inshallah. Once it's masjid, then they cannot put those restrictions on us. Then we, say, we could say that, look, this is masjid. In masjid, we have to perform these duties up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where we worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala freely. That's why, inshallah, if we can achieve this goal, and hopefully, inshallah, I am sure, inshallah, with your help, with your support, inshallah, we will achieve this goal, inshallah, and then next year, we'll all enjoy praying in the masjid, and also perform i'tikaf, inshallah, and we will also have many other activities. We have many plans, inshallah, brothers in the Islamic society, are planning uh, to educate our children, uh, from uh, giving uh, give them Islamic education, and many other activities uh, where young, young generation, they could come and enjoy, because it's our responsibility. It's our responsibility to bring them to us, to keep them under the Islamic community. We cannot just bring them like by calling them, by telling them, we have to create something for them, which attracts them. In this environment, in this restricted environment we have now, the physical environment we have, we cannot achieve those things. So, masjid, again masjid, is very important need of this community, Muslim community who live in this part of Adelaide. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us an understanding of the importance of having this masjid and also ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open our hearts that we generously give to this project so we achieve it. Brothers, I would like to say one more thing. When we build masjid, we are building it for the sake of Allah. When we build a house, we build it for ourselves. Which one helps us? The house we built for ourselves, it will help us only this life. Once we die, we don't know who's going to stay there, what's going to do, what, what our children or family are going to do with that house. But the masjid will stay, and the benefit of masjid will continue until the day of judgment. Second important thing about the same example, every one of us here able to build a house if you want. Yes, there are some problems. There are many problems. Many brothers, unfortunately, don't care about that. But that most of us have houses. We have our own house, and we did not hesitate to spend about three, four hundred thousand easily for one house, where we could only keep our family, maximum five or six family members. We are talking of only seven hundred thousand dollars for this masjid, which will be home of every single Muslim, which will be a home for every single Muslim, and which will last forever. It will be an ongoing charity 
then the reward of will not stop even after our death. So we need to understand this. And it's an opportunity we have to think like that. It's not a burden. We should not think, oh, it's some kind of responsibility, a burden. No. It is an opportunity Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created for us to be part of this. To be part of it. Because if we can be part of it, and if Allah accepts it from us, then it's our success. Every brick will be witness for us on the day of judgment. Every, every dollar we spend for this cause, it will come as a great reward for us, inshallah. And Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa made it very clear, if you build a house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a masjid for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will build for you a palace in Jannah. That means your Jannah is guaranteed for you. If Allah accepts, that means we have to give it generously, we have to give it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept that charity from us. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين